So one of the uh, experiences that I've had working in, in Asia now for, for nearly 20 years is that uh, as much as people talk about the family importance in, in Asia, a business is not a family. Sometimes people like to think of them as that, but I, my experience really, we have to think of a, as a business in, in Asia, really is more of a team, um, because the people in, in Asia are very keen to come into a company, acquire skills, and, and move on. So what that means is that you might have a long-term vision for your company, but the team that you have around you now, the players, won't always be in that game with you. So there are some impacts that one has to make, I think. One is that uh, we have to be very clear about the vision of the company, but then we have to uh, templatize and put it into processes that can be easily relearned as your, as your team cycles through. Another is that we have to make sure that we own some of the intellectual property in the company because some, some of the people will come into your company and see it as an opportunity to, to move on and play in their own team, as it were. So we have to think in Asia about constant recruitment as well because those people are coming through, the bright ones are going to be looking for other opportunities and, the, and those that are not so bright may be staying with you, which is a challenge perhaps everywhere in the world. But then we also just have to think in Asia about what it means for the people playing on the team, both at an individual level and a company level, how we create the rewards uh, for individual A players and B players. So a business in Asia isn't really about family. Uh, it's really about teams and getting everyone to compete within the team and keep scoring goals for the company as long as they're on the side.